Welcome to today's episode of Catching Up With Your Saga Stationery. So, so casual. casual. I hope you all are well. It is fully November. I guess last week we talked about it's November. It's November. <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Still can't wrap our heads around it. <laughs> it's because it's so warm here in New York. I know. That's why. It's so That's bizarre. Why. The weather mm -hmm. is very strange. Mm -hmm. But I'm not complaining. It's been pretty nice out. Some last bits of summer. Um, this past week, we received our Hobonichi restock that yeah. we were expecting. <laughs> yeah. And it is every bit as epic as we thought. <laughs> no. Um but it was it was great to see all of these covers that we haven't seen in quite a while come back in stock. I know some of them were really popular and a lot of people were waiting for them for a long time. So you guys will all uh, be able to order your cousins and your Hobonichi Weeks now because we were sold out of those for a very long time before. I was really excited. I got to unbox these, so we did a little YouTube video for anybody who missed that. And, um, you know, I am, I have watched One Piece and so I know the story a little bit, but it was cool to be able to uh, really look in person at mm. all of the covers and things like that. So for anybody who is a One Piece fan, be sure to check out that video. And we'll probably do a little sneak peek of, of them as we talk about the newly added too. Yeah. 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 Something <laughs> else that's exciting that we got are our special custom inks from Kakimori. Yes! When they were here and did their ink stand event pop-up at Yoseka. That's right. Yeah, there was like a night after our, our morning work day, we headed on over to the store, a small group of us, and we were like, hello, can we mix some inks for ourselves? <laughs> <laughs> and Kakimori, um, all of them were so nice about it and they were like, yes, of course, you know. I was expecting like, oh, the like I'll just give like whatever object, like color inspiration I have to them. They, they'll, you know, just make it for me. Yeah. They're like, no, you can make it yourself. And yes. I was like, this is so special. So yeah. I am so excited that we finally got the inks sent to us. Yay, that's right. Um, Aya and Ayaka lovingly made all of our custom blended inks for us once they got back to Japan and they shipped them to us and they finally arrived and we had a little happy hour where we revealed everyone's inks and mm -hmm, gave them mm -hmm. out and um, saw everyone's colors and Christine even had her pen ready to dip right away. <laughs> so yeah. funny. She went, we were at a bar and she went and cleaned her fountain pen out just for this moment. <laughs> it was like lay on the table, we all have like our drinks and yeah. stuff and there's just like this dissected sailor pen on yeah. the table. Nothing to see here, just normal bar business. <laughs> But I was really happy to get my custom color, which is actually to match my Dragon Palace fountain pen. Ooh. Yeah, it's a pretty specific color. It's a very light green, um, mm -hmm. similar to what you were trying to do, mm -hmm. but um, it's kind of hard to get a matching color that's also legible at the same time, mm -hmm. which I think mm -hmm. is a problem that many of us light ink lovers, pastel lovers kind yeah. of can appreciate. This is actually the testing that Aya did for me and um, you could see she was trying to like lighten the color and get it to exactly the shade of the Dragon Palace. Um, and so they took this home. They have these formula cards you can look at your formula that they use to make your ink color. So if I ever wanted to order this again, I could order it again, which I don't know, like I'm not great at like keeping the same ink color inked in my pen, yeah, but this would be the one. This would be the mm -hmm. one. So I'm excited about this. What about you, Ashley? I tried to match our refresh pen body color because I feel like it's a very it's tough like a color, yeah. color to match. Yeah. But I also had the same kind of problem. Like right. I wanted to be dark and legible, so I ended up making it like a little bit darker, kind of like you. So yeah. Mine looks like yours, but a little bit bluer. Maybe I'll just give a little sneak peek. Yes, at mine. do it. This is Ashley's ink color to match the kind of grayish blue mm -hmm. of the refresh pen, and I hope you guys see that it's. I think it's a great match. Yeah, I like yeah, it a lot. I've they been did great with it. I'm very happy. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, thank you, Kaki Mori, for sending us our inks. If yeah. you're watching this, we Ooh. love them. 
Yay. <laughs> my, my early Christmas gift. Yeah, Thank he also so gave us a reason to do happy hour last week. <laughs> yeah. We love our happy hours. Um, yeah, other than that, last week we have just been busy adding actually lots of new stationery. Mm -hmm. um, I sent out a newsletter recently mm -hmm. and it was packed full of new stationery. Yes. So let's get right to it, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, to the left of Ashley, we actually have these adorable Midori elastic pocket pouches. I don't know if that's what they're called. Elastic pocket stickers, that's what they're called. And they come in all of these cute colors. Um, and there's some design, like striped colors. We actually have one out on this Hobonichi Weeks, so you can see exactly what it is. So this is like a pocket sticker um, and it has elastic material and you stick it onto your notebook and basically you can slip little pieces of paper into your notebook to carry around with you. So I'll show you guys over here. Um, it's pretty stuck on. Yeah, I tried um, getting it off earlier. It's really, yeah. it's really sturdy. It's really sturdy and I just love how stretchy this material is. Mm -hmm. So you can kind of pack a lot in there, but also if you needed to dig in, mm -hmm. you could dig in there and get what you were looking for. So that's really cool. That's a cool idea. Yeah, I also like that you can carry more chunky things like like a pen or You could or, put a pen in there. Yeah. Yeah, and just yeah. carry a bunch around with you. Friction Very stamp. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> so next we also added this mini Delphonics tote bag. So cute. Oh so my cute. god. It's I'm going like out. Oh, I guess you know, aren't those like on trend right now? Like the mini the handbags. Mini, like mini I'm handbags. thinking of like Lizzo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The handbags from Delphonics. Delphonics is so on trend. <laughs> Who came first, Gucci or Delphonics? <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. Um, anyway, this is so small. It fits into the palm of your hand, as Ashley was saying. But aside from being cute, I think it's pretty it's functional. Very functional. Yeah. Because you could keep, like, you could zip it open here. Where's that zipper? Um, and it's quite spacious inside. Yeah. So. I don't know, I'm thinking of like chapstick. Mm -hmm, I think mm -hmm. chapstick would be great in here. 10 friction stamps. Ten. <laughs> <laughs> That's how we think of things here in units of friction stamps. <laughs> um, yeah, and then there's these little pockets here on the front of the bag, um, and then a big wider pocket here to slip little things like maybe like little clips. Oh, little oh, pins! Yeah. Oh, little pins! That's very cute. That's very cute. Little pins would be cute. So um, yeah, fun a fun little thing to keep on your keychain for things that you like to keep super handy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. maybe little stickers. Just keep all your Seca stickers in there that I can give around, give out as I'm walking around. <laughs> <laughs> Next up, we have a bunch of new soda tapes. I'm just gonna Ooh, slide them over because yeah, there's okay. towers of them. There are lots. Whoa! There are lots of new soda tapes. Um, and soda tapes, for anyone who doesn't know, um, soda is by Hirotoki, mm -hmm. um, and they also do like the Kita tape. These are just a different PET tape. Mm -hmm. So we, we're seeing a lot of PET tapes now, but we actually, um, I feel like this is one of the first PET tapes that we that added, we added yeah. right? Mm -hmm. These um, these soda tapes, and so they're very popular now. And there are new designs that Ashley's looking at. That is so cute. I know this oh one's like my favorite. That's show. why I just yeah. pulled it out. These are for the first time. They are like die cuts, so they're in um, sort of rounded shapes along the length of the strip and then they're obviously like little pet faces so this one is also really pretty too this one is called ore and it's like minerals and you can also see like the outline of the shape of the different ore stones um along the length of the washi tape mm. yeah um and then there are like lots of new designs I'm trying to do a better job of showing this. Is this working? <laughs> yeah, there you yeah, go. right. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we've been seeing a lot of the holographic detailing on stationery lately. That's true. So this is another, yeah. you know, 
Another, is this a trend? Is it a trend? trend? It's, it's, I think it might be. Oh, and I have to show this one because I was looking at this and it was losing my mind. It's so cute. <gasps> oh, that's really cute. Yeah. I am such a sucker for postage stamps and these are, this is a roll of PET tapes with little flower squares and they have postage stamp borders. I don't know why that simple little detail of adding a postage stamp border makes things so irresistible so to me. Cute. Why yeah. is that? I don't know. I feel <laughs> I feel very targeted. <laughs> targeted. targeted. Yeah, they're like, oh, Daisy, we'll get these. Um, but yeah, I'm loving the postage stamp border um, on these new soda tapes. I will say these are not as sticky. These are not as sticky as like MT tapes, right? Yes. Do mm -hmm. you agree? Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And you have to, you can't like tear them. Right. So a Good lot point. of washi tape cutters actually do work with yeah. them if you're a little forceful. Yeah. Usually I just like to use scissors with yeah. them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You you can't just um, tear them like yeah. you do with washi tapes typically. So good to note. All right, what else? We also have this new stamp from Sambi. That's right, we it have looks, a couple of new things from Sambi. That's true. Yeah, so we have this Ink Biori rotating date stamp and this rubber stamp mat, which is made in collaboration with Eric's Ball Things. Mm -hmm. This one, is pretty interesting. It comes in this like really durable case. It's pretty like pretty good storage because you could just put it back in there and it won't get everything all inky. And the stamp imprint is actually just the shape of a ink bottle. And this is made for the purposes of doing like ink tracking journals and things like that. And then the stamp comes with these dials that you can you can pull out over here to separate the map the stamp surface from the rotating dials and then you would just turn the dials to adjust for the date that you inked up your pen. And the idea of this is that you use like a waterproof pigment ink stamp pad such as the Shachihara, um, mm -hmm. and that allows you to, once the ink is dry, you can color over the ink bottle shape um, or maybe like swab over it with the ink that you're inking your pen up with and this is like your ink tracker. So, I'm really gonna get one of these for my journal next year because I want to do like a pretty ink tracker mm -hmm. and maybe this is the one. That's a really, maybe. it's really convenient. It's looking. very convenient, yes. I just love these little rotating dials. Mm -hmm. Feels so cool, feels so official. Yeah. I feel very important, like I'm a member of like Congress or I don't know. <laughs> like a this, big office. This is officially the ink color in your fountain pen. <laughs> very formal. It's true, it's true. It does look very formal. Yeah. Um, and then for anybody who's curious about what this stamp mat does, it is obviously the design is super, super cute, but the surface of this is almost like the whole thing is rubber basically, mm -hmm. so it almost feels like a stamp. And the point of this is you put it under the piece of paper that you're about to stamp on top of, and that allows um, a better imprint on your stamp. And it has the design that Eric Small Things. Very classic Eric Small Things. Very classic Eric Small Things. So this is super cute. And actually, um, we get a lot of questions in particular about like LCN metal stamps. Mm -hmm. I get asked all the time, mm -hmm. emails from customers who've never used a metal stamp before. And they're like, oh, the imprint is not great. And I don't know what I'm doing wrong. And actually LCN thought of this like a while ago. She's been, she sometimes gives us like these black Mat foam, foam mat mats. things mm -hmm. that we will include in orders that have metal stamps. So if you have been struggling with your metal stamp and you've almost given up on your metal stamps, don't give up yet. Don't give up. Yeah, you can get this or you can email us and ask us to include one of those foam pads in your next order and we would be happy to. And it really does make a difference. It does. It yeah. does. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. You can get really, really high detail once you put that under the page. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, and that's good for like LCN because her stamps are so, so detailed. detailed. Yeah. yeah. Here, so we have actually added a bunch of new fountain pens this week and they are on our walnut pen tray over here. I'm not going to angle them because they will all just slide <laughs> off. And these are nice pens. Lamy Safari 2022 um, Special Editions. And these are pretty cool. This is a mix of colors that we are seeing. So it's the blue pen with a red clip and a white pen with the 
black clip and they have a special black nib. These are cool because actually when, when the Safari, which is one of the most popular fountain pens ever created, um, when the Safari was first released in the 90s, they, um, they obviously have this look that still works today, but actually they were very of the time back then, and these were colorways that were available back then in the 90s when they were first released. So that's mm -hmm. kind of the history and the story behind these colors that are now being introduced. Next up, we also <laughs> added new pens from Bunko Box. Ooh, this is wow. our first time. Bunko Box! I was really excited <laughs> because there's like so many pretty pens. Yeah. Um, so some of these are from the Alice in Wonderland collection. Yeah. Magic yeah. of Alice. And for anyone who doesn't know, Bunga Box is a stationery store in Japan started by a woman, Kaoru. I always thought it was like a decades old stationery mm -hmm. store, but they just started in 2012. So um, I love that they are kind of new in the world of stationery stores in Japan, but they're doing something super super unique which is really putting um, writing first and also um, doing all these beautiful pens that's <laughs> what they're known for they like she I don't know how her mind works but Karu has a knack for just visualizing the most amazingly beautiful pens and then she um, connects them to a story that I think a lot of us can personally connect with. This one, for example, is called the Cinderella Slipper, and I'll point out this one in particular because it is one of their newest released pens. And she did it in collaboration with Sailor, so it's on a Sailor Riallo body. Um, so it comes with a 21 karat nib, and that means it's a, because it's a Riallo, it's a piston filler. And so it comes in these colors that really is reminiscent of Cinderella's glass slipper, mm -hmm. and it's really pretty. And all of Bungu Box's pens usually come with um, some sort of Raiden Machie artwork, and here we see a little bit of Raiden artwork in the shape of Cinderella's castle um, with this really beautiful green background to, um, which I think it's like also Machie artwork. Um, so this is, such a pretty pen. Blue is so perfect to yeah. match Cinderella's dress also. I know. It's like the perfect color. Yeah. I thought of Ame when I saw this pen because Ame loves blue and silver trim. Oh, yeah. wow. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not, no pressure. I'm not like, okay. <laughs> but it did remind me of Ame. Um, next up from Bungu Box, this is the White Magnolia pen, which um, has the colors of translucent white and sort of transparent with glitter detail red on the barrel and on the finial of this pen is the actual white magnolia flower done in Raiden detail um, and it has like a back, back a blue background um, to make it look like the blue sky. The white magnolia is supposed to be a flower that like is always blooming upwards and so it's sort of like an inspirational pen. It was made after the pandemic and the idea is that, you know, like everything will be okay kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. um, so it's a pretty beautiful story behind this pen. And then I saved the best for last. This is the my little favorite. Mini. Yeah, so this is a Sailor Mini, the uh, Wonderland series, the Tears of Alice series. It is blue and white with little specks of glitter, um, little specks of like brown throughout this white body, which makes it like, it softens the whiteness, mm -hmm, I feel like. Mm -hmm. um, and then it has a brass grip section over here, which is really cool and gives it a little bit of a better balance because otherwise overall it is a quite tiny pen. Then the cap finial is so beautiful. It is um, some like a mosaic of little Raiden pieces just along the cap finial there. So. And it's kind of cool because usually we only see in the US, we only see Sailor Minis in medium fine nib, but because these are from Bungu Box and they made them in Japan and they're available in the, all the nib sizes, basically extra fine to broad, mm. which is interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Then we have, these are actually, I think they're like sold out at this point. Like yeah. these went so fast, but we have um, the continuation of the Alice in Wonderland series. So these are steel nibs with different Alice in Wonderland motifs in black and 
red and blue and white along the transparent pen. Um, I think people jumped at these because the thought of like owning a piece of a bungu box like artwork that's not like hundreds of dollars was very appealing to speed on there and they're also really cute too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so these are almost gone, but I'm sure we will uh, be restocking yeah, for anybody I mean, who's curious. I feel like the printing is really unique also. Mm. Like I don't see, like there's a lot of, you know, like iridescent or like glitter things, yeah. but not a lot of like printed. Um, like along the, motifs along, along it, yeah. the whole body. Mm -hmm. So I feel like fans of Alice in Wonderland definitely would be like, Yes, mm -hmm. for sure. And then we have like a pile of stuff on the corner of this table here, and it is our Hobonichi One Piece stuff, which I'm sure some of you are like, get to the point already, just Last talk about One least. Piece. <laughs> <laughs> you should check out our unboxing video for a closer look, and Ashley, you'll be doing an unboxing video for the Hobonichi accessories for the One Piece collaboration. That's right. Um, but we will just give you a little sneak peek here. So we have the One Piece Weeks. This is the Grand Line, and this is the To the New World. And then we have the Straw Hat Luffy Red um, book plus cover. This comes with the A6 English Hobonichi. And we have the um, Straw Hat Luffy Blue, which comes with the A A5 English Cousin inside. Um, and then these are really exciting. These are the Going Merry Log Books, which also come in A5 and A6 with the A5 and A6 English planners inside. Then, last but not least, this is the really special one. This is a special Hobonichi um, Techo One Piece Edition. So inside you get your your classic Hobonichi Techo that we all have come to know and love, but it gives you special One Piece details like the birthdays of characters and then sort of like scattered throughout there are illustrations from the actual manga like this. Um, so that is, that is a little sneak peek of that. I haven't even watched very much of One Piece, maybe an episode here or there. Yeah. But so many accessories. So many accessories. They have clear rubber stamps and it comes with an acrylic block, which is really convenient. So cute. And then there's a letter paper pad. It's called Join the Straw Hat Crew and it has the illustrations of all the main characters. Eyes, which I think is, I, I love this concept. And then there's the many faces of Chopper, bookmarks, there's a memo pad for you to write your feelings on, that's literally what it's called. And then there's a sticker book with all the major phrases and... And then to top it all off, these very fun pencil boards were also released. They're taken from the manga and there's week size, A6 size, and A5 size. And they're from different highlights in the One Piece story. Oh. So if you're a fan, you'll recognize some moments of the big story arcs. And I love the illustrations. They're like so detailed and yeah, very fun. I love all of the One Piece accessories and I will go into greater detail with them when I unbox them. Ooh, so cannot wait for your insights, Keep an eye out. Ashley. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. I hope I do it justice because I'm not like, you know, uh, a like big diehard fan. I've never really gotten into it, so I hope I hope I do it justice. I know that's how I felt. I was so nervous. <laughs> I was so nervous. I was like silent for like half an hour, 45 minutes before doing the video over the weekend. I was like, no one talked to me. I need to just study and not get anything wrong because I just want to do it justice. I know we have a lot of friends who are huge One Piece people. Like I know Ame assisted me with some fact checking. And yeah, I hope you all are loving One Piece and kind of being brought back to your childhoods by this One Piece collection. I know Neil is and I know like your friend and Christine's friend, like we all have friends who were like waiting for this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they're finally here now, so you can tell how excited we all are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, okay, so that wraps it up for the newly added stationery from this past week. There was quite a bit, and hopefully we'll have even more next week. Um, we're getting in a lot of holiday stationery, so be on the lookout for holiday cards, holiday note cards, letter sets, stickers, things like that. Very festive. It's about to be 
the holidays. The holidays. The holidays. <laughs> Cue the music. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then other than that, we have just been busy in the store. It was the marathon on Sunday, right, yeah. in New York. Mm-hmm. So it was kind of quiet on Sunday. But did you have mm-hmm. any interesting experiences in store this week? Um, not too much since it was a little bit quieter, but I did run into a customer and it was very funny. I, I, um, he was looking at our superior labor items and I was like, oh, like, can I help you with anything? And he was like, oh, I just love superior labor so much. Who doesn't? Right? Yeah. He then pulled out his big superior labor pouch. Yeah, it was so well organized. If we're talking the same guy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he like kept a whole like A5 notebook in there and like so many different things fit in there and mm-hmm. I was like, wow, that's really cool. And so we, we just bonded over our love of the superior labor craftsmanship. Yay, to, TSL is too good to be true. Yeah. Too good for this world. And <laughs> yeah, he may have convinced me. I remember last week we were talking about the pouches or maybe it was the week before. Yeah. The leather pouches. Oh, I know. And he was like, about it. if you like it, you should really get it. And I was like, Okay, maybe okay. I will if you say so. Now I really have to think about it. I gotta think. I, I have a first-hand account of someone who loves all of their stuff. So. I know, I know. Was, what about you? Um, well, I have an, a funny little anecdote from Sunday too. I was in the store, and this is why I love the store because it's always interesting, um, and I always just like meet people with interesting things to tell me and like you know I just like funny little things Mm. so this guy was like so focused and he was trying out all the pens and um I was like how how can I help you and um it turns out that he had not written with a fountain pen before but he was trying out all of our pens and he told me that he had a very long letter to write so I pried a little bit (laughs) And he told me that he was in the doghouse with his partner and he had a very long letter to write them about, I don't know, to get him out of the doghouse or whatever. But he just, I love that. I loved his enthusiasm for it. And um, he spent time in the store picking out the right paper, the right envelopes. He picked one pen and then he decided to go with a Lamy calligraphy pen. Um, So he spent a lot of time uh, going back and forth and figuring out how exactly to get this letter just right. And, um, you know, I've met people, like, I I love people who come to the store um, who are trying to write a letter because I just, I love letter writing and I know a lot of our customers write tons of letters all the time, Mm -hmm. but we also meet people in the store who are not letter writers, are thinking about letter writing as like something different to do, something romantic to do, and it's like a more of a gesture, and I think that is really beautiful. I know his letter is gonna be amazing. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, I just enjoyed, I enjoyed talking to him a lot, and I hope that my assistants helped him with his little predicament. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. good luck. Yeah, good luck. That's good what luck. I said to him at the end. Oh. <laughs> but um, I know, I know it's gonna be okay. He seems like a really nice guy. Anyway, that is my little funny anecdote for for the week. Yeah. Very funny. Yeah, so that is about it for this episode of Catching Up. We will see you on the next one with lots of holiday stuff, I'm sure. I hope you all are doing great at home um, and enjoying all of these YouTube videos we're putting out for you. (laughs) Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Bye.